welcome you are logged on to indiantimesdaily.com the only portal for global indians we broadcast news from india canada punjab and gujarat in english punjabi and gujarati languages and our portal and apps have a list of well established businesses and resources that every global indian needs i am sanskriti shankar and today's headlines are in india campaigning in poll bound karnataka has come to an end and Justice Chelameshwar has written to the CJI on the elevation of Justice Joseph. In Punjab, the NIA will probe a Canada-based Khalistani terrorist over the killing of RSS leaders, and CM Amrinder Singh has slammed the SAD for allegedly ruining the state. In Canada, 3,000 police officers will secure the G7 leader summit, and Greens leader Elizabeth May has been cleared of harassment allegations. Stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com and I'll be back with all the news that's important for you from India, Canada and Punjab. Get the mortgage that's best for you from Abdul Kazar, Principal Broker of Ingenious Mortgages. We offer first and second mortgages and refinancing. We deal with multiple lenders. We also conduct the REMIC course and exam to become a mortgage agent in just one week at our location. Call us at 416-887-9196 or log on to www.ingeniousmortgages.ca. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from India are The fever pitch campaigning in Karnataka for the assembly elections to be held on Saturday has come to an end. The campaigning by the BJP, the Congress and the JDS was electric in content and delivery, ranging from mudslinging of rival opponents to religion. Justice J. Chelameshwar, the senior most judge of the Supreme Court, has written a letter to the CJI. He asked him to convene a meeting of the Collegium to urgently forward to the centre the name of Uttarakhand Chief Justice K.M. Joseph as the judge of the Apex Court. Congress President Rahul Gandhi has said that his mother was more Indian than many others. This was in response to PM Narendra Modi's sarcastic barb at UPA Chairperson Sonia Gandhi over her foreign origin. Gandhi recalled how, despite being an Italian by birth, his mother made sacrifices for the country. The government is in touch with relevant people and authorities in Afghanistan to secure the release of seven Indian engineers. They were abducted by the Taliban militants in the restive northern Baglan province on Sunday. A relative of Delhi CM Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested by the ACB in connection with the Public Works Department scam. The ruling Aam Aadmi Party has alleged that the move was aimed at maligning the image of the party supremo and harass his kin. External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj has told a Kashmiri student that there was no such place as Indian-occupied Kashmir and there was only Jammu and Kashmir. The student who sought for her help was residing in the Philippines. Swaraj later acknowledged the change in description and then directed the authorities to help him. The West Bengal Panchayat polls will be held on May 14th as scheduled by the State Election Commission. The Supreme Court has stayed a Calcutta High Court order, allowing filling of nomination by candidates through emails. The Supreme Court has reserved its verdict on a batch of petitions challenging the constitutional validity of Aadhaar and its enabling 2016 law. The judgment was reserved after a marathon hearing which went on for 38 days spanning four months. Jailed RJD chief Lalu Prasad is in Patna to attend his elder son's marriage on 12th May. He is on a three-day parole and was welcomed at the Patna airport like a hero. Yadav has been convicted in four fraud scam cases since 2013, the latest being the Dumka tragedy case. Actress and former beauty queen Neha Dhupia surprised her fans and friends from the industry with the news of a hush-hush wedding with actor and best friend Angad Bedi, son of ex-Indian cricketer Bhishan Singh Bedi. She has called it the best decision of her life. Stay tuned to Indian Times Daily as the news from Punjab and Canada follows. When you are buying or selling a house or a business, you need proper guidance. We at JPML Law Firm have the knowledge and the expertise to help you close your transaction hassle-free. For all your real estate needs, give us a call. When you are buying or selling a house or a business, you need proper guidance. We at JPML Law Firm have the knowledge and the expertise to help you close your transaction hassle-free. For all your real estate needs, give us a call. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from Punjab are The NIA is probing Canada-based Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijjar's involvement in the killing of RSS leaders in Punjab. 
Nijjar was briefly taken into custody by Canadian law enforcement in mid-April but was released within 24 hours without any charges being filed. The NIA is in regular touch with the RCMP over the matter. Chief Minister Amrinder Singh has slammed the SAD for allegedly ruining the state and accused the party of pushing it to the last position among the states on the economic front. He stated that the SAD had a history of damaging the interests of Punjab right from the time of state's reorganisation. SAD President Sukhbir Singh Badal has said that since Congress candidate Hardev Singh Ladi Sherowalia has been booked under non-bailable offences, he should either get bail first or be arrested. Ladi was scheduled to appear before the SDM Shah court over an alleged illegal sand mining case. Aam Aadmi Party candidate Ratan Singh Kakkar Kalan has filed his nomination papers in the presence of senior party leaders, including leader of the opposition Sukhpal Khera. Kalan is an NRI who runs a construction business in Dubai. WWF India, in partnership with the DFWPP, has conducted the Indus River Dolphin Survey across the Bihar's Conservation Reserve stretch. The first ever survey on the 185km Bihar stretch has estimated the population of endangered Indus dolphins to be between 5 and 11. Prominent Sikh personalities, including intellectuals, have pitched for the inclusion of Sikh-related historical aspects in the history books of the NCERT. Experts suggest that Sikh contribution must be included in school boards and universities across the country. Local Bodies Minister Navjot Singh Sidhu made a narrow escape when a stray bull attacked a group of people standing with him outside Amritsar Temple. Sidhu had gone to inspect the ongoing beautification project at Durgiana Temple. Akal Takht Jathedar Gyani Gurbachan Singh has sought assistance of the cyber crime cell to locate miscreants who are distorting images of gurus on social media. The Jathedar claimed that such acts hurt the sentiments of Sikhs and should be dealt with sternly. Addicts have alleged that due to lack of required de-addiction facilities, they are forced to buy black market opium and poppy husk. The Punjab government has not issued new licenses to opium addicts to register them for getting its supply since 1983. Local Bodies Minister Navjot Singh Sidhu has announced a heritage street for Durgiana Temple. Sidhu also okayed 5 crore rupees for the construction of the heritage walkway. The new passage will run parallel to the existing road but will be dedicated for the pedestrian devotees to help them reach Durgiana Temple. I'll be back. Stay logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com as news from Canada follows. Scans A team of highly professional accountants, we deliver quality and immeasurable assistance Scans to our clients. For Canada audit assistance and your business loans, the only name you can trust. A professional accountant always makes a difference. For more information, call us at 416-741-0801 or visit us at scansaccountants.com. Welcome back to IndianTimesDaily.com and the top 10 headlines from Canada are... The federal government has planned to spend more than $2.2 million to bring in 3,000 police officers and dozens of German shepherds for security of G7 leaders' summit to be held in Quebec City. The G7 leaders, including PM Trudeau, President Donald Trump and British PM Theresa May will meet on June 8th and 9th inside a highly secured zone. Green Party leader Elizabeth May has been cleared over allegations of workplace harassment by an independent investigation. The probe began in January after former Green Party employees accused May of bullying. Canadian retail company Canadian Tire has signed a deal to buy Heli Hansen, a maker of sportswear and workwear based in Norway, for $985 million. The retail company, controlled by Ontario Teachers Pension Plan, also assumed $50 million in debt under the deal. Three new charges of attempted murder have been laid against a man accused in a deadly van attack in Toronto last month. Eight women and two men died after a rental van drove down a busy sidewalk on April 23rd. Three more people were injured along with 13 counted earlier. Transportation officials are expecting to reopen the Trans-Canada Highway between Fredericton and Moncton as floodwaters recede. The four-lane route has been closed since the past week because of record-breaking flooding in the province. 
More voters are favouring a majority win by the Ontario PC party with the NDP entrenched as a strong second choice. NDP leader Andrea Horwath will lead Ontario's official opposition according to a new poll. The poll predicts 75 seats for Tories, 37 would go to the NDP while only 12 to the Liberals. Three countries in the NAFTA body are to vote on whether to investigate if Canada is failing to enforce environmental legislation on tailings ponds in Alberta's oil sands. NAFTA's environmental watchdog raised serious questions about how the federal government enforces the Fisheries Act in the relation to the massive ponds. The Supreme Court of Canada will hear the case whether the Toronto-born sons of Russia spies are actually Canadian citizens. A federal court of appeal ruling had effectively affirmed Canadian citizenship to individuals whose parents were arrested eight years ago in the US on charges of conspiring to act as secret agents on behalf of Russia. Former Prime Minister Stephen Harper has joined other former world leaders for supporting President Trump's withdrawal from the 2015 Iranian nuclear agreement and re-imposing sanctions. Harper and his former Foreign Affairs Minister John Baird were among 12 signatories who came in support of Trump's hardline stance on Iran. The Canadian police have launched an investigation after a human foot washed up on the shores of British Columbia. This is the 14th time since 2007 that tides have carried a shoe-clad foot to the province coastline. Some have linked the fines to natural disasters. This is the end of News Bulletin, but stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com as news from Bollywood is coming up next. And do visit the resources section on this portal to find the best Indo-Canadian businesses and resources. From accounting firms to wedding planners in your city. All of us at Indian Times Daily wish that you have a great day. Welcome to the Field Fresh Supermarket. One-stop shop for fresh vegetables, fruits, bakery products, Indian and Chinese grocery and much more. Visit us today at 5661 Steels Avenue East in Scarborough, major intersection Steels and Middlefield. Check out our weekly flyers. Field Fresh Supermarket. Always fresh. Bollywood actress Kangana Ranaut chose a heavily sequined but essential black sari as she exuded an old world charm with her boffined inspired hairdo for her first appearance at the 71st Cannes Film Festival on Wednesday. The stylish actress looked resplendent in a Sabya Sachi Mukherjee sari. This is the Queen actress's first time at the gala. She is representing Grey Goose, while Huma, the jolly LLB2 star, chose an all white dreamy ensemble. Wearing a Varun Bell, she looked gorgeous in a corset-style top and a sheer net cape. Immigration Terminal, the specialist for visitor visa, student visa, business immigration, family sponsorship, work permits, PNP programs, living caregivers and LMIA applications. Highly experienced in cases involving criminal or medical admissibility and previously refused or misrepresentation cases. Call 416-675-5666 in Ontario or 778-927-3455 in BC. Email us at info at immigrationterminal.ca. Immigration Terminal, right consultants, right future. Megastar Amitabh Bachchan, who attended a unique show, Frames 75, which used rare photographs, paintings, sketches, posters and many more in 75 frames to celebrate his journey. Osaja told IANS that this was an effort on their part to celebrate the platinum year of Big B, who turned 75 last October. Amitabh found the initiative laudable, but embarrassing to see all that was displayed on the walls were his portraits. These are all the things that are coming from the generation of Pradeep Ji. He will see them, he will give them a praise. There is no reference point. And today they have proven it. I would like to say that this is a very embarrassing moment for me, but I would like to say that you can never do an exhibition in the film industry. And if you do it, I will come to that. If you want, I will come to that. If you want, I will come to that. Because my dream is a very difficult thing for me, that if I do this for myself, then I can go to the film industry. I can't see it in my own film industry. St. Regis hosted the preview of the exhibition, which will be accessible to fans and film students at Whistling Woods, the film institute helmed by noted filmmaker Subhash Kai. Karol Bagh Dwellers, Ganya the latest design link, Pelly Choice. Sone at the Hiri the set, Chudia at the Kade, Chain, 
जड़ाउ सेट ਅਤੇ ਹੋਰ ਵੀ ਕਈ ਗਹਿਣਿਆਂ ਤੇ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਡਿਸਕਾਊਂਟ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਡੀ ਚੁਆਇਸ ਬਿਹਤਰੀਨ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਅਤੇ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਵਾਜਿਬ ਰੇਟਾਂ ਲਈ ਆਓ ਕਰੋਲ ਬਾਗ ਜੁਐਲਰਸ ਅਤੇ ਰੂਪ ਜੁਐਲਰਸ ਕਰੋਲ ਬਾਗ ਜੁਐਲਰਸ 1098 ਪੀਟਰ ਰੋਬਰਟਸਨ ਬੁਲੇਵਾਰਡ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਪਟਨ ਰੂਪ ਜੁਐਲਰਸ 503 ਰੇਲ ਔਸਨ ਬੁਲੇਵਾਰਡ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਪਟਨ